New York City. You either love it or hate it, or sometimes a little bit of both. Because in spite of all its advantages, there are so many things here that can just grate on your nerves. Today, I'm going to reveal some of the things I complain the most about living in the city. As a native New Yorker, you'd think that by now I'd be used to everything that goes on here. But trust me, no matter how long some of us live here, there are some things we will never get used to. So without further delay, here are my nine biggest New York City pet peeves. Number one, Manhattan, Manhattan, Manhattan. All life revolves around Manhattan. Which brings me to question, why aren't there any subway trains going directly from Queens to Brooklyn? Or directly from the Bronx into Queens? The only way to get to any other borough by train is by first going into Manhattan. Sorry, but it shouldn't have to take me two hours to go from one point in Queens to another point in Brooklyn when these two boroughs are right next door to each other. Will there ever come a day when we could just bypass Manhattan? Number 2. Slow Express Trains The idea behind express trains is they're supposed to speed through the tunnel and get you to your destination faster, right? Well, what's up with these express trains moving through the tunnel at a snail's pace? Don't you just hate it when you're on the express and you look out the window to see the local train flying past you, leaving all of us on the express behind in the dust? It grates on my nerves every time. Number 3. Weekend Construction Will there ever be a time when there's no construction work being done in the subways? I swear, it doesn't matter what line you take. Every weekend, guaranteed, there's some kind of major detour and major delay due to construction. If you're headed anywhere on the weekends, you always have to leave an hour earlier than you normally would. The problem is the entire New York City subway system is ancient and it's falling apart. Deep down inside, we all know that the only solution is a complete overhaul. But you know what? That would be a whole other major production that none of us are prepared to deal with. So I guess it's best to just keep patching things up and allow the subways to keep wrecking havoc upon our lives every weekend. Number 4. Broken Escalators I can't tell you how many times I've had to carry heavy luggage, gallons of paint, and bags of groceries up escalators that weren't working. And I'm talking about some of these super long escalators to heaven. And mind you, there's no resting. You have to keep it moving because the people behind you who have to be somewhere don't give a rat's tail about you being tired and out of breath. Just keep it moving, please. Number five, subway breakdancing. I don't usually mind the panhandling on the subways all that much because people gotta do what they gotta do to survive. But when it comes to the subway breakdancers, that's where I draw the line. The tourists may think it's all fun and cute, but when it comes to some kid climbing the poles in front of me, I'm not amused. After a couple of shoes have gone flying past my head, one landing on my lap, and being almost kicked in the face, nowadays I just move away to find me a safe zone, sometimes at the cost of losing my seat. Pisses me off every time, because we all know that if your face gets kicked in, these kids are going to be nowhere to be found. No, they won't be there to pay your medical bills because they're just going to run off at the next stop and disappear into the crowd. Now that we've finally got the subway issues out of the way, we can move on to some of my other gripes about this city. So, let's start with number 6, dog poo. Never mind the fact that it's a dirty city, we already know this. But I am so tired of dodging piles of dog crap on the sidewalks. You people that don't pick up after your dogs, you truly make it a miserable mess for the rest of us. Sorry, but there's no excuse for this. If you're a dog owner and you're grossed up by what your own dog puts out, then you have no business owning one. Stop being a lazy m and and just clean up after your dog. Number 7 scaffolding. Why does it sometimes feel like you never see the sun even on a sunny day? Well it has to do with these ugly makeshift overhead platforms surrounding 50% of all the buildings in New York. They're the scaffolding that you see all over the place. Is it me or does it seem like there's always a new skyscraper going up or an old building getting a facelift? 
Walk down any street and you're bound to encounter scaffolding within a two block range. Again, it goes to show that this ancient city that we call New York is just falling apart. And because of that, I've come to the realization that the dark depressing scaffolding will always be a part of our lives. Number eight, the pretentiousness. If there's one thing that this city does not have a shortage of, is a bunch of posers. Yes, the snobbery is real here. Visit any modern art gallery, high-end boutique, fancy schmancy hotel, or some trendy new restaurant, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Too many people name dropping, buying expensive things they can't even afford, chasing after name brands, pretending to rub elbows with the rich, idolizing weird and ugly things, and making a big deal out of stuff that isn't even worth making a big deal about. Too many people making stupid comments like, Oh my god, this is so prestigious, so state of the art. I've never seen anything so cutting edge and so avant-garde. I tell you, I am so over the puffed up realities that so many will try to pull you into. Here's the big secret. In so many parts of New York, the emperor actually doesn't have any clothes on. And sadly, it looks like he's going to be naked for a while. And last but not least, I have for you number 9, the rat race. New York City is not just a place full of hustle and grit. It's a freaking rat race. If you're not fortunate enough to ride around in limos, or if you don't have the luxury of a doorman who can hail a cab to your doorstep every day, then consider yourself running the rat race with everyone else. It's a hard life here, and burnout happens quickly. It's a lifestyle that can wear most people down because you're constantly overstimulated, always on the go, and having to endure the harsh elements as you walk to your destination is just never fun. Yes, you're walking everywhere, climbing stairs all over the place. You're always dragging something home, and it seems you're always in a rush. Most people run on coffee here, but for some reason, we always end up looking like zombies by the end of the day. The rat race is harsh, it's hard, and it will eventually always find a way to run you ragged. That's it folks. These are the things that annoy the crap out of me the most. Hopefully, I'm not overreacting on most of them. So what are your pet peeves about this town? What do you gripe about the most? Let us know in the comments below. I'd love to get your take on this topic. Also, be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more on New York City, our favorite city that never sleeps. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see each other next time.